Have you ever thought how much energy it takes to heat a kettle of water? The amount of energy transferred will depend on three things. Can you think about what they might be? Pause the video while you have a think. The amount of water, the rise in temperature, the specific heat capacity of water. You may not have heard of specific heat capacity. This is the amount of energy needed to heat one kilogram of water by one Celsius. The value is specific to water, hence the name. These three quantities can be connected by a formula. Delta E equals mc delta theta, or change in thermal energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change, where delta E is measured in joules, m in kilograms, C in joules per kilogram per degree Celsius and delta theta in Celsius. Water has a specific heat capacity of 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius. This means it needs 4.18 kilojoules to heat one kilogram up by one degree Celsius. We can use the equation delta E equals mc delta theta to work out the energy needed to boil a kettle of water. If we take 0.5 kilograms of water, or half a litre, at 18 degrees Celsius and heat it to boiling, or 100 degrees Celsius, then energy used equals 0.5 times 4.18 times 82, which equals 171.380 kilojoules. This assumes that there is no loss of energy during heating, which of course there will be. Heat and sound will be lost to the surroundings. If this kettle took 80 seconds to boil, then we can begin to estimate the power of the kettle. Power is the rate at which energy is transferred. Power equals energy over time. So we get 171.38 over 80 equals 2.14 kilojoules per second or 2.14 kilowatts. This answer will be slightly lower than the actual power due to the kettle being uninsulated. This water boiler holds 10.5 litres of water. How much energy is transferred if the water at 14 degrees Celsius is heated to boiling point? Pause the video while you work it out. Did you get 3,774.5 kilojoules or 3.775 megajoules? Different materials have their own specific heat capacity. This has consequences in our everyday life that we may not be aware of. Most of us probably cook with water more often than we do with oil. Imagine that we are heating pans of water and oil over identical heat sources. Specific heat capacity of water is 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius. And specific heat capacity of olive oil is 1.97 kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius. What temperature rise would you get for each if one kilogram of each had 40 kilojoules of energy transferred? If we rearrange the equation, delta theta is the temperature rise, for water, we get 9.5 degrees Celsius. And for olive oil, we get 20.3 degrees Celsius. Oils have a much lower specific heat capacity than water, so heat up much quicker when exposed to an identical heat source. This is why we are often surprised how fast a pan of oil heats up when we are cooking. As shown, when heated under identical conditions, the same mass of oil will heat up about twice as fast as water will, reaching 200 degrees Celsius in the time it takes water to boil. You might want to pause the video to take in the data shown here, which shows the specific heat capacities of a range of substances. Notice how the value for metals gets lower as the atomic mass increases, and that materials made up of lighter elements have a much higher figure 